la 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 Leo. La 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 Leo. La 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 Leo. La 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 Leo. La la la. What's up, Leo? What's up, Leo gang? What's up, gang gang? What's going on in life of a Leo between now and the twenty eighth of February? Hmm. Hmm. We being honest with ourselves, others, being accepting. Loving, receiving, allowing spirit to bestow its blessings on us, even though it seems like London Bridge is fucking falling down. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hey, boo, hey. This is your first time to my channel. I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out. I cuss. Right? So, if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader on YouTube who can better resonate with you without cussing because me, I'm going to do that. All right? So, to all of my, um, New subscribers, welcome to the family, y'all. We all live dysfunctional. We don't fight. We don't fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. We might cry. You know, we cuss, all right? But we love, we grow, we enlighten, we share, we evolve. Posy vibes only over here. To my returning family members, y'all, what's what's pop? What's, what's, what's really going on? Because Leos, you guys have, a lot of you all have been really, really, really embracing the shift. But some of you all have not been wanting to hear people tell y'all about yourself. And you know, we family. So if you could tell me by myself, I'm going to tell you about yourself, okay? All right, all right, okay now, all right. So with that said, you guys, I'm all my messages are delivered with love. I just allow myself to be a channel for spirit. I don't read in a particular way. Um, I don't really show the cards often because I don't want nobody. I don't want these other people to well, that don't mean that. That don't mean that. Don't mean that to you. Your intuition don't work like mine's, baby. Our eyes are not the same. Hush your face, and I'm a clear audience. Look, I'm clear audience. So hush your face. Don't do that. You don't know how me works. Get you together. Then you can tell me how me works. All right? So, Leo, maybe some of y'all got to tell somebody that. Because I really feel that on my, from, from the depths of my soul. All right? So, thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, y'all, the comments. I truly appreciate y'all. I truly embrace my family. I love me some y'all. All right? But we're going to start off with the intuitive messages. Without further ado, um, this is a uh, general. It's not personal. For me, the personal, that information can be found within the description. I do offer emergency readings. So, y'all get at me. All right? I love y'all. Right, so without further ado, it's for my summer rising Venus as well as the cross watchers for the sign of la 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 Leo. What they need to know. Intuitively, this may resonate with some, may not resonate with everybody, but take what does leave the rest. All right. So for February, um, the mid half for Leo, I got intuitively, I got acceptance, mother issues, new love, life purpose, gratitude, perfection. I'm sorry, progress, not perfection. Forced change, manipulative, peaceful resolutions, energy cleansing, new contracts, okay? So, Leo, you guys have a lot of beautiful changes that are trying to come forth. Um, a lot of you guys are having to speak your truths. A lot of you guys are having to release that fear of judgment, release that fear of how other people are going to perceive what it is that you're trying to do, how other people um, don't don't allow other people to project their fears up onto you as far as uh, you truly being your biggest fan and it, this is a season for you to be truly be your biggest fan and don't allow other people to perceive their judgments on you or their fears up on you on how you move and as far as your dreams your aspirations your goals because for every motherfucking no there is 10 yeses remember that okay right so just because they do not see the vision does not mean that everybody out here walking blind you understand so take that how you take it how that resonates with you um also intuitively let me dig a little bit I feel the energy of, you guys may be taking a lot of deep breaths during this time, and I feel like it's more of a temperament issue. Keep, keep Hold your temper during this time. Watch the things that you say because you guys are manifesting at a very fast rate. So the things that you speak out of your mouth, you're seeing them come into fruition. And for some of you all, it may be towards another that you're seeing, but for some of you all, you may be a double-edged sword. So really watch your words during this time. Some of you guys are really needing to heal some type of family issue when it comes to some type of structure or um, understanding or some type of um, acceptance around a perspective that there's just like agree to disagree on when it comes to your mother. Some of you guys really need to forgive your father um, as far as some type of, um, so, some, some of you guys may feel that you are left out 
um, with your father, which is why you try to control the situation or how it's going when it comes to your family. But I'm, I'm hearing that this is this ancestral and it's a cycle that has to be broken through you, but with a greater understanding and an evolved you. So stop trying to control and hold on to situations that are just not ready yet. It's kind of like a butterfly in the cocoon. If you take that damn caterpillar and you cut that damn cocoon, you're going to kill it because it wasn't ready yet. Don't kill it. All right. So let's get it. Oh, your message first comes from the Doreen uh, Virtue Arc or Archangel or the deck. The message your uh, your message comes from Archangel Zadkiel. It says compassion. Soften your heart with respect to the situation and all the people involved, including yourself. Some of you guys may have an underactive or overactive um, solar plexus chakra. And there's a need for you guys to really, really, really ground yourself and really, really, you're acting from, and during this time, you may be acting from an instinctive place instead of intuitive place. And so you're really needing to, before you make a decision, before you make a move, before you make any, um, like decisions that can really be impactful as far as your expansion or as far as you guys possibly like rolling the dice on situations, you really, there's a need for you to take a deep breath. And truly, truly, truly reflect. Kind of look at situations from a as like from a Libra's point of view, um, with the scales. You know how would this affect? This a, this, can this be an asset or a liability? Really structure who, what, when, how, or can be assets or liabilities in your life, and where you're trying to be going forward. If is the people in your life can they assist you with your growth? Do they even support your growth? Do they believe in your mission? Questions to ask yourself. All right. All right. So let's get it. Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful readers and lines? Love you. Put them up. Put them up. Put them up. <laughs> love between now and the 28th of February. Y'all know I'm goofy. What messages do you have in love? Yeah. Some of you guys could possibly be moving away, moving away from an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you're moving away. You're taking, it, taking the little that you have left to offer, and you're moving away. Okay, you're really standing your ground when it comes to allowing someone in your energy, something in your energy to, con to continuously make you feel or affect your confidence, make you feel less than. Okay, for some of you all, this could have to do with the uh, earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. All right, someone could have actually left you out in the cold, Leo, while going to go chase greener grass. All right, but some of you guys could actually be just be moving completely away from a situation that was once stable. Okay, Leo, I feel that this could be you getting left out in the cold, but for some of y'all, I feel like you're leaving someone out in the cold, especially if you're dealing with the earth sign. For some of you all, someone could have been, um, a bit arrogant when it came to finances, okay? Or someone was trying to use finances as a damn dangling, as a damn dangling, um, well, what do you, what do you call them? As, as puppet strings to get you to march to the tune of their damn drum. And you're having courage. You're just really trusting in yourself and, and, and who you are, who spirit is trying to assist you in becoming, okay? For some of you all, Leo, um, this could be you leaving someone out in the cold because someone is having an issue with getting over past events, past deceit, past um, hurt, all right? But there's a need for you guys to come out of this place of focusing on what happened in the past or what once was, okay? And accept where you are now, okay? Accept your truth. Accept that you had to go through that. You had to experience that in order to gain the wisdom that you need in order to be the greatest you. And you can't keep beating yourself about what beating yourself up about what it could have should have because it's already done, it's already happened, okay? But some of you all, um, some of you all with you uh truthfully moving forward, okay, for some of you all this could have to do with you leaving the job behind and you have this fear of, you know, disappointing your coworkers or uh for people to feel as if you're unloyal or, you know, you're not true to you know, their goals and their dreams and their aspirations. But understand this, the time that you give time and peace is very expensive because you can't buy those, all right? So I don't give a damn. I, I tell anybody this. Before I live in a situation where I am unhappy and I have no fulfillment and there is no peace, I will live in my fucking car like the hippie that I believe I was in many lives, okay? I truly feel that for some of you all, you're really choosing peace 
over stability. And you don't know it's a blessing in disguise because as soon as you let go of something and actually openly speak your feelings and openly express how you feel, then you're going to get what it is that you've been trying to manifest. For some of you all, you're releasing the situation because someone is a drinker. They oh, they, they, they drink. I feel like you feel as, some, as if someone's addiction, um, and you, you're communicating that. You feel as if someone's addiction is keeping you um, from having a solid um a solid foundation with someone, okay? I feel like somebody has truly gone overboard with the shits and you're just not with it. For some of you all, your heart lies with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Some of you all are telling someone, hey, you know, I love you, but I'm no longer in love with you. This is not my truth. I would like to move forward. And for some of you all, this could have to do with some type of commitment or marriage or some type of family dynamic. And for some of you all, I feel as if you've been judging yourself or really self-sabotaging when it comes to this decision because I feel as if you worried about the outside noise and what everybody else going to say. Well, look here. If everybody else had all the goddamn answers, do you think they would be where you are for you to hear that outside noise? If you sitting here beating yourself up, think about it, all right? For some of you all, you're waiting to hear. Um, you've been trying to manifest or you've been um, kind of in your head thinking how things can go wrong, possibly with reconnecting with someone who uh, you could have moved away from in the past. This could be a Libra, Capricorn, Aries, Cancer. How you've been trying to manifest this person, and during this time, I do see this person actually, um, actually coming forth and allow and that conversation being had. And I also see you guys able to move away from your past issues, past burdens, okay? But it's only if you believe you can, because for some of you all, this is new love, okay? Some of you guys who could have walked away from somebody or walking away from someone this time during this time, which you don't know it is, it's that fulfillment that you're looking for. You know, that connection that you were, that, that is destined for you would just, just did not lie in this person. There was some type of karmic lesson that you had to learn from this individual. And you got to see the lesson in order for you to truly receive the blessing. Embrace your tower moments that you have. And some of you guys could be dealing with the Scorpio. Somebody could, um, somebody could have walked away from you to go deal with someone who they have um, some type of family dynamic with in the past. Okay, but the, I'm seeing that this cycle, it was the end of a cycle. This cycle had to close out. Some of you guys could be ending cycles, possibly with the Scorpio and Aquarius, another Leo like yourself or a Taurus, okay, to move towards a soulmate relationship, a partnership, okay? I definitely feel like some of you guys could have also been, uh, during the time, will also be stalking somebody on social media or having someone who's watching you very closely because they energetically feel that you're pulling away from them. And so it's kind of like I feel a situation. I feel a situation where no one wants to be um, the bad guy here, um, and there's this sense of just being up for it, straight, straightforward truth. Okay, for some of you are you possibly experiencing some form of a, some form of a betrayal, or you could have been dealing with the sign of Capricorn, the Taurus, who could have walked away from some type of an obligation of some sort. And you don't see it as being a blessing in disguise. Oh, but it is because you're moving towards the love of your life for some of you all. And for some of you all, you're going to have a hard time moving on because you can only see the hurt in the situation that this could have caused. Okay. But I do see with you cutting this off, the outcome of you cutting this situation. Okay. Or cutting those internal fears or cutting those emotions. Okay. And that self-sabotaging, those self-sabotaging thoughts and moving away from that baby and letting that hurt go is love, okay, possibly with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay, why is the strength card here, I do see you in your power though, you're standing firm to your beliefs, you're moving forward to whatever endeavor it is that you're trying to move forward, that, you, that you've been trying to grow after releasing something, okay, but I do see for some of you all, this has to do with moving away, possibly you having the strength and courage to move away from a, a relationship that could be solid, but you feel like someone is crumbing you and kind of holding you hostage through finances, okay, and for some of you all, this could have to do with the fire sign, every Leo Sagittarius, or this could have to do with um, an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Why is the page of wands here? Show me the page of wands and the nine of cups. Yeah, for some of you all, you've been manifesting that reconciliation and here it comes. But how are you, for some of you all, you really need to see the love and what you've, what you've learned about yourself in that situation, okay? And possibly, and it's, it's going to break a karmic cycle of dealing with the same damn person or the same damn spirit or lesson just with different faces attached to it. Yeah. For some of you all, you're ending the cycles of giving to third-party situations or allowing yourself to get caught up in third-party situations. You choose a self-worth, self-love. 
I do see you as the other person still stalking after this happened, after someone moves on from uh, moves on from something, someone. But I do see the overall outcome being truth, honesty. Yeah, new beginning, new passionate beginning. For some of you all, you walking away from a job and started something brand new, more money. You're passionate about it. Purpose and passion. Purpose and passion produces greater outcomes. You know why? Because it's not something that you're waking up to like, Ugh. But some of y'all are internally conflicted about going to go live your best life. And Spirit is saying the best advice is to move forward, walk away from your past, move away from what once was. And that's going to bring your life that balance, that clarity, that harmony, that in which you've been seeking. But it comes from within you, not another person. All right. So this is what I have for my Leos in love between now and the 28th of February. I love you all. If you need that personal reading, please hit me up. That information can be found in the description below. All right. I will see you guys for the March General. So much love, much light, peace and blessings. Namaste. Bye, babies.